Hello everyone and welcome back to our video series where we're walking you through how to create an inbound marketing campaign framework using HubSpot. Which is this framework is basically going to serve as the skeleton for your online sales funnel. My name is Ron Medlin and in this video I'll be walking you through how to create the workflows for your email nurturing sequence. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is navigate to workflows under contacts. And we're going to start by creating our first workflow, which is our Tofu workflow. Next, we want to edit the workflow activation. So what triggers the workflow? We want this workflow to actually be triggered when someone fills out a form on one of our Tofu landing pages. So we're going to change this activation or condition type to form submissions. It's going to be your Tofu form that we created in the video where we showed you how to create your campaign recipes. And for now, we're going to leave it on any page. Now, as you build out more and more of these offers, you might want to build different workflows for each offer so that you can send uh, more targeted emails to your leads. But for now, we're going to leave it like this. So next, the entire goal of the Tofu workflow is to nurture people from being an information seeker or information qualified lead to a marketing qualified lead and being a marketing qualified lead means that they've actually downloaded our brand filter offer and engaged with our brand so now we know they're at least a little interested in our solution to their problem so the goal is for this uh, workflow is going to be called marketing qualified lead that we created in the first video one of the first videos and now we can start um, setting up our steps for our tofu funnel the first thing we want to do, want, first thing we want to happen when someone fills out our tofu form is to set this person's life cycle stage to be a lead. Now once we set their life cycle stage to lead, they actually go into our uh, information qualified lead list. Now the next step, once we've put them into the information qualified lead list, we want them we want to start nurturing them so we want to start automatically dripping out those tofu emails that we created in one of our earlier videos so the next step is to send out an email we're going to delay for two days there and we're going to send out our first email which is the tofu email one then we're going to add the next step which is to send the next email in the series which is tofu email two and we're going to wait three days for that then we're going to send the final email in the series, which is your Tofu email 3. And we're going to wait five days for that. And then our final step in this workflow is to add the people that went through the complete workflow, finished the workflow, and didn't take the next step in the funnel. So these people are getting stuck between the top of the funnel and the middle of the funnel. So we want to add these people to the quiet Tofu lead list because we don't want to keep sending these people marketing or they might flag us as um, spam. So that is the workflow for the Tofu offers or the Tofu workflow. So let's go ahead and save that workflow. Now once we've saved that workflow we want to head back to the main workflow tool and we're going to create our MoFu workflow. Now the steps of the MoFu workflow are going to be very similar to the work, uh, Tofu workflow with some slight changes. So the, thing, the next thing to do is to edit the workflow activation. So we want this workflow to be triggered when someone fills out a form on our MoFu landing page. So we're going to change this to form submissions. We're going to use the A MoFu form that we created in your uh, campaign recipes video. And again, that's going to be on any page. Now, the goal for this particular workflow is to nurture the people from a marketing qualified lead to a sales qualified lead, which means they're hot. They're interested in learning more about your products or services by trying it out for a demo or speaking to a sales rep or whatever your bottom of the funnel offer is. So our goal list for this particular workflow is a sales qualified lead list. Now, the first step in the workflow, in the MoFu workflow, the first thing we want to happen when somebody fills out your MoFu form on our site is to set this person's lifecycle stage to marketing qualified lead. So 
we're going to set the contact property lifecycle stage to marketing qualified lead. And you remember in one of our first videos, um, we we put we created a marketing qualified leads list. So that's what's going to happen when they we change their life cycle stage to marketing qualified lead. They go into that list. Now once they become a marketing qualified lead, we want to start nurturing them with a different series of emails that are specifically targeted to these warmer leads called the MoFu emails that we created in an earlier video. So let's our next step in the workflow is to start sending out these emails. So we're going to send out the first MoFu email. And we're going to wait two days to do that. Then we're going to send the next email. We're going to wait three days to send this one. And these are all days um, after the previous step. So that's going to be MoFu email two. And we're going to send our final email, which is number three. And we're going to wait five days from the previous step to send that one out. And then our final step is to add the people that went through the incomplete workflow and didn't take the next step. We want to add them to your MoFu quiet list. So your quiet MoFu leads. So these are the people that are stuck between the middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel and they haven't taken the next step to um, sign up to get uh, your bottom of the funnel offer. So we want to save that workflow. We're going to head on back to the main workflow page and create our final uh, workflow, which is our BOFU workflow. Now this uh, workflow is going to be triggered by a form submission, your BOFU form. On any page again, we're not going to have a goal list for this particular um, workflow because these people have already made it to the bottom of the funnel. So all this workflow is going to do, it's going to have one single step and that step is to change this person's life cycle stage to sales qualified lead. And so this basically puts them in the sales qualified lead list and then tells that basically tells our sales team that these people are ready to be contacted and they're hot. So we're going to save that workflow. And there you have it folks. That's how to set up the workflows for your inbound marketing campaign framework. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at ron at 98 to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.